New information on the Madison County Church that caught fire this afternoon. We first brought you this as breaking news on Way 31 News at 5. Since then, the State Fire Marshal's Office and the ATF went to the church to begin their investigations. The Deputy Fire Marshal told us they can't comment since the investigation is happening now. But he said they'll likely give us more information tomorrow. Also, since 5, girly firefighters finished putting out any hot spots, took down their yellow tape, and had it out. The fire happened at Mount Pisgah Seventh Day Adventist Church near Highway 72 East in Gurley. Way 31 Sarah Singletary is live now after being at the church all afternoon and tonight. Sarah. Yeah, Greg, that's right. There's no Sunday services here at the church at Mount Pisgah Seventh Day Adventist Church just off Highway 72, but there were some members inside the building today, and I'll tell you, they got out just in time. The timing is, is very providential as far as I'm concerned. Church member Carolyn Ward Moore had just gotten home from Mount Pisgah Seventh Day Adventist Church and was still in her car when she got the call about the fire. I was surprised to see this much damage. I really was. Especially since she'd been at the church just an hour before the fire started. Church services are on Saturdays, but Ward Moore and Pastor Aldwin Humphrey were both in the building Sunday for a regularly scheduled board meeting. We cut the agenda short. And now I'm beginning to think that that was a good thing. <laughs> the Gurley Volunteer Fire Department took the lead, but a total of five volunteer fire departments worked together to get the fire out. Hemsey was on the scene, too, along with four law enforcement agencies, including the state fire marshal's office and the ATF, the federal agency whose job it is to investigate church fires. I talked with Humphrey while lights were flashing and agency officials were still on the scene. He said he's thankful no one was hurt and knows the day could have been much worse. If we had carried out that agenda, we would have still been in there when, when something happened. Now that everyone's safe, it's time to figure out what's next. And although Ward Moore said Sunday's timing was perfect, she knows it'll take time and resources to rebuild. We don't have a large membership. Every dime we have is, is, is given out of love and sacrifice. Humphrey said it's too soon to say what they're going to do about Saturday's services, but he did say he's confident that it's all going to work out. Reporting live in Gurley, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News.